I have a friend who's going to join me. Her name is Kari. She had two forms of cancer at the same time. We are going to just play a little bit and try to bring back some of that freshness to her face that she had in her youth and before she had cancer. All right, so my friend Kari is here. Yay, hello. What we're gonna do today is I am going to do half of Kari's face and then she's going to do the other and try to emulate, is that what you say? Emulate? So. Okay, so. she's the teacher, so <laughs> remember, I am not a professional makeup artist. So, you know, those of you who are, please don't come at me in the comments. <laughs> I only know what I know and what works on my face, but we'll play with Kari's and it'll be fun. One thing we did when we went to, um, no, yeah, Alta, is we went and got her color matched because we weren't sure what foundation would look good on her. We don't want to spend $50 on foundation. She found a color match that was really dead on yeah. for Kari's really nice. skin. I want Kari to try the True Match Nude from L'Oreal. We go to the Ulta website and we look up this web, this foundation and we say, find my, I think it's find my match or find my shade or something like that. And you can look up the exact Bobbi Brown foundation that looked good on Kari, that shade, and it will tell you which one will look good in this foundation. We are going to see if this actually really does match because this looks darker. Yeah, it does. In the bottle, yeah. I never would have chosen mm -hmm. this color for Kari. Like, this looks dark. So I am going to have her do a primer. Put it where you have a little bit more pores, your cheeks, and maybe some light texture. And you're just doing for a light coat. It also can help your foundation go on a little bit smoother. Okay, all right, did I put it in all the right places? I'm sure you did. Sorry. I wasn't watching. <laughs> now, Kari had two forms of cancer, and they are? Thyroid cancer and breast cancer. And she had them at the same time. Yeah. She found out she had the thyroid cancer first. Right. I was working with Kari at that point, and she told me you were having trouble swallowing. Swallowing and singing. So and that's singing. Yeah, yeah, she's a singer. I remember her coming in the faculty lounge, and she told me, she's like, I just have this. I think I'm going to go get it checked. Well, thank yeah. the Lord that she had it checked. Yeah. So she found that out, and then how long after you found out mm -hmm. you had that did you find out about the breast cancer? So it was really just a few more months, and um, actually afterwards my doctor said think of it this way that the thyroid cancer had saved my life yeah. because I went in for my annual mammogram just a couple months later and they found you know some spots and things and they were gonna just let it go the doctor said we'll, we'll ch usually just check that in six months and with most people and um, not think of it as cancer but because I had thyroid cancer already, they decided it was better to do a, yeah. a more testing and um, biopsy. And of course, then it ended up being an aggressive form of breast cancer. So um, I'm just so thankful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. cancer free. Yes. Two days ago was my four year Yay. anniversary. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing to me. Yeah. <laughs> she lost all her hair, mm -hmm. all her <laughs> eyebrows, all hair everywhere was gone. You taught me how to make eyebrows yes. during that time. <laughs> she wore a wig for a little bit, but yeah. most of the time you wore a scarf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wigs were not so, comfortable. <laughs> yeah. So just a really hard journey to go through, but she went through it and yeah, healthy now and that's a good thing. These are correctors and this is going to help negate the blue that's in mm. your eyes. Yeah. I'm going to have you use the darker of the two. I really should have glasses on. <laughs> I really need glasses. We're going for a very natural look on Kari. You might want a darker one. You've uh -huh. got some pretty, you've got some very distinct yes. there, but your foundation's going to cover some of that. So yeah. I'm gonna actually have you do this side again and okay. put a little bit more on that vein. It's a vein. A peach color will negate a blue color. Mm. If you've got red skin, you want a green. Mm on you so it's just that color wheel thing okay don't i sound like a <laughs> like i know what i'm doing <laughs> we're thinking that looks a little dark but we'll see what it does <laughs> okay so i gave her a beaky sponge you very inexpensive do not go buy the beauty blender that is 20 bucks for one thing mm. you do not need it you need a cheap one they they are just as good this is not a full foundation like a full coverage might not be as dark as you think. See, it's blending. Yeah, it looks it's good. It's not as dark as you think. I have literally never done makeup on somebody. <laughs> like never. <laughs> I'm getting scared. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> she's gonna go home marks and be like nice car <laughs> always blend down so with the sponge you want to dab out use this little mm -hmm. point and get in like right there use it to blend out your um, under your eye blend into your hairline and always go past your ears mm -hmm. So there's not much of a difference. This color actually works. Yeah, it does. So, it's okay, great. Ulta's mm -hmm. little thing worked. So. <laughs> I've got this yep. scar here, you can see. And I, and just... I do have a, a concealer. Yeah. We might try with that. Okay. What I usually do is if I have something to cover up, I will put on the foundation one coat. Then I might use a concealer and then the second coat. Because I want to go as light as possible, especially mm -hmm. when you're in your 50s or mm -hmm. beyond. If you've got wrinkles or texture or anything, it's just going to settle in and make you look older the more you keep putting on your skin. As little as possible is good. Right. The Maybelline Fit Me, we're going to put this under her eyes. I like to do this after the first coat before the second coat because the second coat will blend everything together. And I'm going to do it around your nasal fold. And these are moistened. Okay, that's negating it pretty good. Okay. Now, when it comes to covering this up, mm -hmm. which it did pretty good, yeah. you don't want to pull. You want to just dab it dab and play it. almost like you're leaving it there. You don't want to swipe it because you'll swipe it right off again. Okay. Yep. A little on the side. Good. And then any other imperfections on your left side. <laughs> Can I put one right here, though? Right here. Absolutely. You don't normally do concealer, correct? No, I, I okay. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff here that I'm doing. Yay. I've never done my nasal fold. <laughs> what is that for? <laughs> it's discolored around. Oh, yeah, I yeah, have yeah, discoloration. Some yeah. people don't. Yeah. I definitely have that where it's just a different color there. Yeah. Sometimes when your concealer is a little bit lighter than your foundation, it can also help contour your face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like I forgot to do it today, but I will put a lighter concealer right there because I have, they're called marionette lines. Okay. So it looks like, you know, if I could do that, you wouldn't see it. So what yeah. I do is I do a little bit lighter there and blend it out and it just kind of lightens that area so it doesn't look as distinct. Okay. Yeah, I like this foundation on you. It's, mm -hmm. it's sitting nicely on you. Yeah, this is really looking nice. I've had tried some in the past where you feel like you see the paintbrush strokes oh, almost, yeah. yeah. Well, a paintbrush stroke can either be the foundation itself or it can be the brush itself. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna use a brush for your foundation, go a higher end mm -hmm. because a cheap brush will show those strokes. And if you combine it with a foundation that isn't its best for you, you're really gonna see it yeah. and you're gonna hate it. All right, your turn to do the My other turn. side. I'm being so serious. <laughs> being serious. Lighten up, it's only makeup. <laughs> so while Cara is doing this, we looked at her skincare. <laughs> skincare was not a good thing. No. <laughs> Bobby was having heart attacks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't always put on an SPF. Did no. you put an SPF on today? No. I don't have anything yet. <laughs> I need to get something. I mean, I have sunscreen. No, no, no. But no. I don't have facial okay. sunscreen. Yet. You need an SPF, especially because, yeah. hello, two forms of cancer and Kari. Have you had skin cancer? Oh, gee, there's a scar right here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I'm going to yell at you. Yeah. You need sunscreen. I don't care. It is literally <laughs> so cloudy today. Yeah. And I put sunscreen on today because those UV lights will mm -hmm. still get to you. Yeah. Those rays, I should say. You need sunscreen every day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know, I Mom. Okay, I Mom. To, yeah. We want to set under her eye the most. So I'm just going to dab it on. It's a little bit strong, so I'm going to kind of pat it out on my hand so it's not so strong. Pull so that it goes under those folds a little bit. If you don't pull your under eye a little bit, and you've got, I, some people call them gills because it looks like a gill of mm -hmm. a, on a fish. Mm -hmm then what you're doing is setting that powder just across those things and you want it to set inside it so that it doesn't keep doing that. Mm -hmm. And again, you don't use a lot. The last thing you wanna do as a woman with wrinkles is to add a ton of powder. It just is gonna make you look powdery and older. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a tiny bit more right here. 
Oh yeah. And I'm just going to blend it. Just kind of go in circles until you don't see the edges anymore. And see how light I'm going? So a little bit mm -hmm. more and then I'm going to go ahead and set that right, right away because you don't want it to go away. There, now it's a lot wow. less. Yeah. Okay. It's like it never was there. It was never there. Smoke and mirrors. All right, okay. I have to do it too, right? On the other oh, side. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, details. <laughs> yes, you do. Pat it out on your hand. Okay. Okay. Good? Yep, that's good. Right, and you're going to pull, pull your it. eye up. Yep, pull your eye a little bit and blend it. And yep, you're patting it. Perfect. My rule of thumb is if I can see the powder, it's too much. Now, if she had more oily skin, we would have done way more. If I felt like her forehead was too shiny, we like I look at I'm looking at the two of us, and my forehead is a lot shinier than hers. But I used a more glowy kind of foundation today, so that's why mine is. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do eyebrows. <laughs> my favorite. Is when you can figure yeah. out how to do your eyebrows, it will take years off of your face. So I've literally never done eyebrows on someone else. This will be, be fun. So we got her the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, and this is what I actually use today on my own. Her, look at me, how old am I? Neutral this, brown. Okay, they never yep. really grew back after cancer. Yep. And I think that, that could be just because of thyroid issues too, so. But I am gonna fill it in probably darker than what you normally do, mm -hmm. but you have to go with it. One thing to always remember is never judge your eyebrows until you've put your whole face on. Mm. Because dark eyebrows on a face with no makeup looks crazy. <laughs> like you just look, there's no other way around. You look crazy. <laughs> I have so never done this. Oh, okay, I have to stand. <laughs> I'm very trusting, aren't I? How makeup artists do this? Like, because everyone's faces are so different. But remember, we can always just wash it off. I'm literally going where your brows are. Like you have hair where I'm going. We just want to bring out the natural look. Bring it down a little bit. You've got more brows than you think you have. Brush them. Oh, actually, that looks good. Okay. Is that way more than you would do? Um, yeah, it's a little darker than I would do, definitely. It matches your hair. Yes, it certainly does. Okay, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can do it. All right. Let me look at your other eyebrow, though. It's different. Okay, that one is definitely different. What you want to try to do is fill in what you've got, but try to match the okay. shape. No one's eyebrows are the same. Pick the one that is the best shape and try to make the other one look like that. That's how I do it. I feel like I should pluck this one differently to match the Well, other. it might be. And it might be worth it for you to go to a professional, get a professional shaping. Oh, yeah. That's, I think this one's thicker. It is right. thicker, but it shapes differently. And also, always look back. Like, I know you're looking close and you want to do that, then look yeah, back and yeah. look and compare the two. And remember, it's going to look darker than you normally are, but that's right. okay. All right. Fix it. Let's see. How's that? Oh, so much better. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Okay. I'm going to use a brush set that you guys saw me do a whole video about, and I'm just going to let her have these because you guys know I have a zillion brushes. <laughs> this is so. the best birthday ever. <laughs> Makeup. I know. Yay. Stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and you're going to do the other one and okay. just dab it in. You're not using a lot. Get the extra off and then just dab it and set that area. You just don't want it to be at all sticky because when you go to put on your eyeshadow, if it's sticky, mm -hmm. it's just going to kind of, it's going to get patchy. No, no, no. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Hit off. Oh, hit off. See ah, how much? Yeah, you okay. don't want all of that on okay. there. She's like, what? What What did I do? I know. <laughs> I'm losing all the details. I have to go back and watch the video so I can put my makeup well, on. Well, that's a good, that's actually a nice little bonus you have. Yeah. <laughs> Provided right. we like the look at the end. She's going to go home and go, never again. Do you do eyeshadow much? I don't very often. Okay. We're using the, it's called Essence Salute Paris. She has so much more real estate up here than I do. Like, look at the difference between our eyes. Like, she's got so much more space. Oh, my heart. I'm going to put it on the top. Again, always hit off too much otherwise. I'm going to just put this all over the bottom of your lid and go right above your crease. Mm -hmm. You don't have very hooded eyes. You are blessed. 
And this is a matte shadow, so it's not going to show a lot of glimmer and all that. And some people love it, and I think that you can get away with it. Yeah, that's very faint, so that's good. So I'm going the lid and a little bit above, right? Yeah, you're okay. going gonna to have it go just a tiny bit above your crease. Okay. Right there. I had my eyes closed when you were doing this. So I I'm know. I was, I was thinking that, like, how is she supposed to see this? But you're doing good. You tell me if I'm doing it right. You're going to have to go in with a second coat. This isn't extremely pigmented. Okay, I want you to do a little bit more in the corner right here. Oh, okay. Perfect. This one's fluffier, so it's going to give you a wash of color. Mm -hmm. The smaller and more condensed brush, you're going to have more shadow get on that and it will deposit more. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a brown one because we want a little bit more warmth. Mm -hmm. This one I'm going to put a little bit on the side so you guys can see a little bit on the side and a little bit on the tip. And I'm just going to do it like in a corner. Yeah, it hardly deposits anything. Wow. No, no, eyes normal. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I do that when I'm putting stuff on, so I... It's okay to do it to a degree to raise your eyes, especially if they're hooded at all. Mm -hmm. But if you do it too much, then what happens is then you lower your eyes, and now your eyes don't look the way you wanted because they were raised the whole time. Eyebrows are the same thing. You don't want to always go like this, and you're like raising your eyes, and you can't... It just yeah. looks hideous when you put your eyes normal because you're not going to walk around going... Yeah. I'm going to take this fluffier brush, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to blend it. I actually like that color on mm -hmm. you. I'm going to do it on the corner here, a mm -hmm. little bit just right in here, and then blend it in a little bit. You're not doing a ton. And then have it go up and, yep, a little bit up. And we're going to bring a little bit of the color down underneath your eyes. Okay. Because we want to make it look like it goes together. Like mm -hmm. if you only do the top of your eyes, then it kind of looks like you didn't finish the look. Yeah. So bring it down under. So I think what they're gonna do is do the brown more underneath your eyes instead of red. Get it right on the top and the sides a little bit. And again, always hit off. Do you see it? Yeah, I've never put eyeshadow under my eyes before. Oh no, mm -hmm. it looks good. And then you can always wing it a tiny bit. It's very, very faint, mm -hmm. but it can kind of bring your eyes up more. Yeah. So I will take it, and you're going to point the brush with the angle going up. Mm -hmm. Just kind of have it go a little bit and tie in. Again, this is very faint. I can see the difference. Mm -hmm. It actually brings out your eyes a little yeah, bit I more. Yeah, I see that. I, I always feel like when I look at pictures, my eyes are just not there. Yes. Like, you know, and, pop. and that's what you want to do. You want to make them pop. Makeup should just bring out the things that you naturally had in the beginning anyways. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a firm believer that you have to make it look, make yourself look like you're so young again or, or older. It's fine. We have wrinkles. Okay. <laughs> We're going to add a little lightness right here in the corner and that's just going to help maybe lighten up that area. You have, you have somewhat They're sunk in some, quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is going to maybe lightness brings things out darkness recedes them. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to lighten a, lot, a little bit here. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to take just a fluffy one and blend it more. Yeah, that adds a little bit of lightness. Mm -hmm. It's not very distinct. Another thing I lost during chemo. Lashes. And, yeah. Did you wear false lashes while I you? I did. I, I yeah. think you gave me some. Oh. I don't know. I was, I guess, a few friends gave me different things during that time. Yeah. Um, but I feel like there's always been a little bit of a gap there now, so ever since they grew yeah. up. I convinced her to buy my favorite. We'll see if it looks good. You know, we're all so different. But this mm -hmm. is fun because it has a primer on it. So she's going to do number one first. The key to this is your first coat, the primer, is just a nice, very light. You're not trying to look anything good. It's just to get them coated. Mm -hmm. So a very light coat. Okay. Primers can make your eyelash your lash, your ashes, your <laughs> lashes look so much better. Do you do your bottom lashes? Cause I never do. I Should do I? only to make them show up, but you don't want to make them too much and look like Twiggy from the 1960s. Right, exactly. Here, I'm going to actually tell you a little secret. Mm -hmm. Sure. When you're doing it, get one close up and literally look down and do it like this. Because oh, okay. if you're always going like this, you have to watch the top yeah, of your yeah. thing. And another thing you could do is wiggle it a tiny bit to deposit more as you're going up. You should dip it again. Oh. You should never 
use again. Only not because of anything bad, just because mm -hmm. you've deposited and, and it's also drying sure. already. Sure. You know, it's funny. I was saying that you're lighter than me. I feel like I'm lighter than you. I have no um, tan on right now, so uh, I feel very white. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. I mean, I would be darker in a couple months. And oh, just... yeah. No, because you're going to have sunscreen on, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I won't. Well, yeah. Because you're going to obey. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's that okay, whole. Okay, your lashes funny. look so much better. Yeah, I, they're huge. That's good. I like it. Almost you can go in for a second coat. I sometimes will and sometimes don't, and everyone's different, but mm -hmm. I would, but do it quickly while it's still wet. If it's still wet, it means that the brush will go through the lashes oh, yeah. better. If they're dry, it'll kind of catch on them, mm -hmm. so you don't want it to catch. I probably won't do the lower lashes because I never do, and okay. I don't so, like that twiggy look no. at all, and I feel like that's what happens. It's be the reason why it looks that weird is because our natural lashes on the bottom are smaller than our top ones. That's yeah. how we normally are. So mm -hmm. if you now make your lashes look really, really long, it just doesn't look normal. It looks right. like what you do. Now, now do you see the difference in your brows? How, oh, now doesn't it look normal? Yeah, it looks yeah. normal. It Absolutely. looks like, oh, okay. But before yeah. that, you're like, my brows are huge. <laughs> yeah. It makes more sense. So never judge it. Mm -hmm. Never judge any look until you put the mascara on and everything else. Yeah. Now we're going to do some bronzer. This one's Physician Formula. And what we're going to do is we're going to shape your face. Now you've got relatively distinct... I can thank my mother for that. What's that called? <laughs> Cheekbones. Cheekbones. So we want to bring that out. Mm -hmm. This is more of an advanced thing. <laughs> but it really does make a difference. Mm -hmm. You wanna go higher than you think. That's the hollow of your cheek. A lot of people put it right there, which is okay, but because we're older, things are sagging. I wanna go a little bit higher. So we're gonna go right on the bottom of your cheek, almost where blush would go. Okay. So I'm gonna start, the heaviest will be over here and it's gonna look dark in the beginning, so don't panic. Mm -hmm. And we're not gonna go too far in, okay. but what this is doing is this is adding a little bit of dimension to your face. Mm -hmm. Now there's still stuff on here. We're gonna bring a little bit up to your forehead and give you a little bit of warmth. And again, we'll blend this out more. And I'm gonna bring out a little bit right here and right under. And what this is doing is it's giving us a shadow. So it makes it look like you've got a more distinct jawline. Okay. And that's another thing that fades mm -hmm. as we get older because mm -hmm. we just get this no matter how mm -hmm. Wonderful yar. Okay, some of you might not get this, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take off some of the bronzer right on a towel. And I'm going to now just blend this more. And what it does is you don't want a very distinct line mm -hmm. because that will make you look like you're a crazy woman. Blend, blend, blend. She's never bronzed before. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> okay, so look at Compare your face, so make sure you're putting it in the same oh, spot. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. All right, so it's up here, I think, right? Yep, good. And don't go too far in. Is that good? Yep, and then put a little bit up here. Yep, and match what I did on the other side. Good. And then I want you to take it down to your, that. under your jawline. I think you need to blend tiny, tiny bit more. I convinced her to buy the Milani. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is the Milani it, Cheek Kiss Nude Kiss. So Cheek Kiss is the name of the product itself. Nude Kiss is the color. When you're doing cream products, it's great to use like a foundation brush. Foundation is made for a liquid. It'll work good with a cream. One thing you can do when you're not used to how it's going to work is take it on your hand and just kind of rub it in and mm -hmm. to just see how is it going to blend on here or take off the extra. Yeah. Blush is another one of those things. Go higher than you think. Okay. So I'm going to actually put it more like right here and blend it up. A lot of people are like, smile and go here. Mm -hmm. Then you smile and then when you stop smiling, uh oh, yeah. everything goes down. Yeah. So that might work when you're in your 20s, not so much when you're in your 50s <laughs> and beyond blend the two together. Even though one is cream and one is powder, it doesn't matter, mm -hmm. it will blend. This is looking great. You know, when I'm in a hurry for work, the one thing I don't put on is blush. I put on my eyes. I understand the thought because it's like, oh, I just need to get out the door. But once you get used to playing things more and more, it'll be like, okay, fast, 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 dun, 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 dun. And you can do it yeah. so fast. Mm -hmm. You can, <clears throat> oh, no more. No more. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> I lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> she is loading it on. Woo! Oh, boy. Like <laughs> She's like, oh, let's go more. Like, no, more is no, better, no. right? It's okay. There are That's tricks. I will tell you a trick how to, if you've put it on and it's mm -hmm. too strong, mm -hmm. there is tricks. Okay, okay go ahead. So, and you're going to go. Start up here. Uh, yep. And don't go down too far. Yep. Yeah. Compare the two. It's good. Okay. The trick, if you've put on too much, take mm -hmm. your dampened yeah. and just kind of like damp it out. Oh, if okay. you, if, especially if you use the side where the foundation was used, the foundation will diminish that some mm -hmm. more. You can even just put foundation back on yeah. and start all over again. Okay, now that since she used a cream, I want you to powder it down because you do need to set it. Dab it into the number seven. Again, we're going to put it on here and all you're gonna do is you're gonna hit just that area not too much because we don't want to take it away, mm -hmm. but we just want to set it so it's not going to rub off by the end of the day. Now I will say the best thing that you can do is play. Like mm -hmm. because you want to get fast before you go to work, right before you wash your face at night, just go play. Play, you know, I want to try this deeper color. Like you're, I'm going to have you go home with this. Maybe you want to try some of these other colors. Mm -hmm. Play with it and see you're going to wash your face. No one's going to see it. Right. That's your time to make mistakes and have fun and, you know, spend 15 minutes and do a little bit extra of something and you'll be like, oh, <laughs> I look like a crazy woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're looking so pretty. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Let's do some lipstick. She is my favorite 107, which is CN Sunset. My favorite <laughs> lipstick. I think it's because you saw it on me one time. Yeah, I think that's And you're it. like, I love that. Yeah, like, I love that's the color. It. Okay, but we did buy a NYX lip pencil we're going to put on and it's the color natural. So we're going to, I don't even know how to put lip gloss. <laughs> I don't know what to do either. <laughs> I'm acting like I know I'm, we're going to just do this. <laughs> I have no clue. You want to go right on the edge and um, like almost off the edge. Okay. To just make your, but not so much that you look like you're a 1990s woman who overlined your lips and, and this is just going to give your definition of your lips again yeah that is definitely one thing that goes as you get older in my heart your lips just kind of look like they're <clears throat> melting into yes. your skin yes it's like oh that's lovely i like that this is sort of lip color you know yes. it's not like yes. another color so just go ahead and put like you'd normal normally do and then i bought her one time for christmas my favorite lip gloss which is the elf plumping lip gloss mocha twist, mocha twist yeah. so pretty we're gonna go to lunch after this for her yeah. birthday she's gonna be all pretty look it looks it looks <laughs> so good oh i love this color <clears throat> okay so what do you like what do you think you look at your eyes and you think honest like i want to know do oh you... honestly i love what my eyes look like because i don't usually put this much on and i'm always complaining about how my eyes look faded yeah, i know and you've told me that I, I remember when my daughter got married just the wedding pictures. I did my own make makeup, but her okay. mother-in-law had, had a professional. Oh. And she, I mean, she's a gorgeous woman okay, anyway. why did the mother of the bride not get her makeup done? <laughs> I don't know. I was so busy. <clears throat> she looked gorgeous. And and those who had theirs professionally done, you could see the difference, you know, yeah. and so oh. it was pretty. I'm amazing. sure you looked beautiful. But this, I, I was like, I can see my eyes. You look pretty. Thank you. It's a great day to look pretty. It is for your birthday. <laughs> there is a video that you guys might want to watch where I show Kari and my friend Lorraine like very beginner mm -hmm. makeup and we kind of do it together. It was a fun, yeah. it was a fun day. I will link that one right after this. Thanks for doing this with me. Thank you. All right, guys, I will <laughs> see you in the next one. God bless. <laughs>